Hello and welcome to episode 9 of the sequel for data analysis series with me, James from Atador Software. Today we're covering a powerful topic, views, and more specifically, creating these, altering these, deleting these, and also with subqueries. So, in SQL, a view is a virtual table based on the results of a SQL statement. They comprise from one or more real table in the database, so it means that these change dynamically and as long as the underlying database is okay, um, it's going to be really useful to stakeholders. This can be our route one for solving data analysis issues rather than moving straight into reporting or Power BI, etc. We'll also look at subqueries, which are queries within queries, about as clear as mud, but we're going to look at how we can incorporate these within views. So. First, I'm in the Northwind database and I'll select all from the customers table. I want to look at the data here and create a view from this. So I have company name, contact name, regions, phone numbers, good stuff. So let's suppose a stakeholder comes to us, maybe they're an account manager and they want to see their French customers. Well, again, we can go straight into SQL and we can create a view, which is the statement we need. We name it French customers um, within those angle bracket, that becomes a view name. We can use as and then select the contact name, the customer name, whatever fields we want, columns we want. We name the specific table in the from section and then we say we add that constraint where the country equals France. And this is going to allow us, once we execute this, to store a view within our object explorer. So if we refresh that there, the object explorer on the left hand side stay in our Northwind database, that's where we are, expand it and go into our views, we should see that there. So we can see the French customers. Now, how do we actually query this to look at the data? Well, we can select all from, and we still need the angle brackets and the view name, French customers. And if we click F5 or execute, we get that great clean data that's gonna enable us to collaborate, work well, and produce quick analytics results within our organization. So we can use that and it's gonna change dynamically, remember. So really useful already with quite a basic example of a view. Now for our next example, we can select all from products and, and look at the data here. Um, but from this table, what we're really going to be concerned with is, is product names and unit prices. And again, we're going to be looking at products that are below sort of the average unit price. Again, quite a common use case. Again, if you want an example, maybe someone from sales has come, sales are down. They want to look at the specific products and why. Well, we could create a view to show products below average price. Again, we name it within those angle brackets and we say as and we select the relevant columns. So product name, unit price from products. And now we're using a subquery. We say where the unit price is less than and within the brackets, we introduce that select the average unit price from products. So we're saying where the unit price is less than the average unit price from that same table. And we'll be able to get much better insights. So within the object explorer, that will now have, have refreshed and be a stored view. And we can query this by saying select all the angle brackets and the name, and we're going to get the, the data. So every product and its unit price, um, if that's below the average unit price, as we introduce with our view and our subquery. There is another way to look at, look at the, the data there. We can actually go into the object explorer. We could right click on products below average price and we could go into select top 1000 rows and it's going to give us the exact same thing but sometimes almost quicker and simpler to just use our our transact sql and it helps us understand other processes so maybe i want to count these results rather than just get every individual product so i could say select use the count aggregate function of the product name and i'm going to show you something as well maybe we don't want we want spaces in the column name and we don't want to use underscore or camel case or pascal case whatever if we use angle brackets that actually allows us to have a column name with spaces um to rename our virtual table and then i can say from that specific query so i'm counting all of those products below the average price from the products below average price query 
and it gives me 52. So we can actually use aggregate functions over a view. And again, the background is all dynamic. So really powerful for collaboration, route one before we go into reporting and having a really good lean BI infra infrastructure. The views contribute greatly to that. So another thing that we can do if we want to rename it, we go into Object Explorer, um, simple way we can right click on it. And let's say I want to call it German customers. I'm going to alter it, uh, that original French customers view. Now, if I right click and select design, really good. We get the columns that are present in this format. We see the table um, and we also see the filter. So which column that French filter was applied to. And then below is the actual query. So I can actually just change the where country equals France to Germany. Um, so I'll do that, I'll type that in. And when I actually go and X out of this query, it'll offer me the chance to save it. I'll click yes, and then I can update my object explorer. Hit refresh, and then I have German customers. So now if I select the top 1000 rows, just to quickly look at the data, I can see it's automatically changed to reflect German customers in the view. So that's how we can simply and quickly alter our view. Now, the last thing we might want to do is delete the view, keep our model lean, uh, maintenance, great. Right click, select delete and OK at the bottom here. And that will enable us to delete it and keep up with maintenance. So really powerful tool, great for collaboration, data modeling and your route one rather than going straight to reporting. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thank you.